when the application starts, you may not see the menu right in front of you. By clicking the top button on the right controller, the menu will be reset to be right in front of you. On the right hand side, you will see all the point clouds you have loaded in the import folder. Select a point cloud by touching one of the tiles. You do this with the red arrow on the right controller. The arrow works with touch, so you don't need to press any buttons. After you have done your selection, you hit the import with the red arrow. When you enter the point cloud, you may not find the points and you have to look around a bit. To fly in the point cloud, you use your right controller. By pressing a trigger, you fly in the direction you're aiming the controller. A green arrow will show in which direction you're flying. The harder you're pressing the trigger, the faster you're going. To reverse, you hold the grip button at the same time as you press the trigger. The green arrow will show the reverse direction. If you turn the left controller on its back, a menu will open. You use the red arrow on the right hand controller to do selections and drag sliders. In this quick start tutorial, we will only cover the visuals menu. Open it by clicking on visuals. The first option changes the size of the points. You drag the slider with the red arrow. Below that you can choose how to color the points. In this file we don't have any RGB data, but you can choose the color by class. In this file we have assigned a class to each tree. You can also overlay intensity on the coloring by pressing the add intensity to color. Color by height give a color scale from blue with low heights to red for the highest points. You can also color by intensity only. If you want to go back to the start menu, you click the start menu button. And again, to reset the menu to be just in front of you, you press the top button on the right controller.